Okay, so in this problem we're told a train locomotive is pulling two cars of the same mass behind it. Determine the ratio of the tension in the coupling, think of it as a cord, between the locomotive and the first car, to that between the first car and the second car, for any non-zero acceleration of the train. So I went ahead and drew our diagram here. We have car 2, car 1, and then our main car which is pulling them. We know the mass of them is going to be the same, so I'm just going to denote that with m. And then we know there's going to be tension in these cords pulling them. And so in order to solve this problem, the first thing you should do is just draw the free body diagram uh, for each of the cars here. So we know we have mg going down. We know we have mg going down on each of the cars, right? The force due to gravity. We have the normal force acting upwards for both of them, right? That's perpendicular to what they're on. And then another thing you should realize or that you need to realize is that this force of tension pulling it is going to be acting in both directions. And this is due to Newton's third law, right? Which is basically tells us uh, that for every action, there's an opposite or equal reaction, right? And this includes forces. So we have FT of two and FT of one basically pointing in uh, each direction here like this. Okay. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to basically sum the forces along the X for each of these cars, and that's gonna allow us to solve for the ratio. So we're gonna start off with car uh, two here. So if I sum the forces in the X on this car, we know some of the forces equal MA, uh, and then you just say MA equals, and then some of the forces in the X. So when I'm referring to the X, I'm obviously just talking about everything along this here. I'll write that like that. So this is the X. Notice for car two, uh, the only force we have here is FT of two. So on this one, it's going to be pulling this this way. So it's kind of like that. If I was to just redraw it, we have FT of 2 acting this way. Um, so yeah, so MA equals FT of 2 in this case. And so that's the sum of the forces in the X for that one. Now let's go ahead and do car 1. So for car 1, some of the forces in the X again equal MA. Notice that uh, A and A are the same thing. This is because they're connected, so their acceleration is going to be the same. But in this case, MA equals, and then if we imagine this box is the car, we know it's going to have a force of tension, one pulling it this way, and then we're going to have a force of tension, two, pulling it this way, right? The opposite reaction. So FT of two is going the opposite way, and that's why we needed to draw that to understand that. Right, because this car is going to be pulling back on it. Um, so yeah, so MA equals, I'm going to choose the right to be positive. So you have FT of 1 and then minus FT of 2. Uh, so I'm just choosing right to be positive, so that's why it's positive, and then plus a negative value, that's why this is minus. Uh, but what you should notice is that FT of 2 uh, is equal to MA. So we can replace MA here with FT of 2. And then you get FT of 1 minus FT of 2. If we want to get it as a ratio, you would just add both sides, or sorry, add this to the other side. So you would basically get FT of 1 is equal to twice FT of 2. So when they're asking, or sorry, I wrote TF of 2. Sorry about that. FT of 2. So basically, FT of 1, or so they determine the ratio of the tension in the coupling between the locomotive and the first car uh, to that of the second car. So basically, FT of 1, or the tension here, is twice FT of 2. So this right here is your answer. So this is the ratio. Um, but yeah, so uh, that's how you would write it. And uh, yeah, so just a quick summary of how we did this. Um, you could write it like this, so you could say FT of 1 equals 2 FT of 2. Uh, sometimes when they talk about the ratio, they want it divided, so you would say 2 is equal to FT of 1 over FT of 2. Uh, writing it either way, I'm pretty sure would be correct. But essentially, you're just saying that uh, FT of 2 is twice, or FT of 1 is twice what FT of 2 is. So the ratio is 2, so I guess your, your ratio of them would be 2, but they're trying to get you to understand that it's basically double. FT of 1 is twice it. So the ratio is 2. Uh, I'd actually recommend writing it with this way, not this way. 
uh, but just make sure you understand what I'm trying to say by this. Uh, but yeah, so the ratio of FT of one over FT of two is the, uh, just twice, so two. Uh, and yeah, so the, the thing you had to understand was Newton's third law here, that there's gonna be an opposite force in the opposite direction, uh, which is just equal to the same tension. So when you have something like a cord between two things like this, just know that you're gonna have that opposite force there. Uh, but yeah, so your answer here is gonna be two, and hopefully you found this video useful.